What's up, everybody? It's the homie Truth Teller, the street reporter. I did a video yesterday, you know. People been saying, Truth, can you start telling us stuff about the culture nobody knows, you know? We know a lot of the stories on the internet that have been told millions of times. You've been interviewing these guys for years. Can you start unraveling and telling us things you got in your secret notebook? I started doing that lately. Uh, I spoke on Varney yesterday, called me OTL Varney. And at the end of that, I kind of told you guys I was going to tell you a story on the reason why a uh, famous rapper, celebrity rapper, Dage Loaf, the reason why she blocked me on Instagram. And I thought it had something to do over Lil Durk. Uh, I'm ready to tell y'all that story. You know, I've been doing these interviews for a while. I actually started off doing phone interviews. I used to interview people over a cell phone. A lot of people say, man, you got to talk to them in person. I get it. But at that moment, Zach was doing the in-person interviews. I was over the phone. I felt like if I can get a phone interview, soon something happened, I can get the interview out 20 minutes later because I'm doing it over the phone. I didn't have to travel. So, you know, I started doing phone interviews. I used to drop them. I used to drop blogs and stuff. And, you know, some people used to say, truth, you kind of funny, you know. Uh, one day, mysteriously, you know, wait, before I get to that, I kind of want to give you some backstory. You know, Lil Durk, famous rapper in the drill coach. At this time, he messing with Dage Loaf. They didn't drop that famous song. I think my Beyonce, something like that. They a couple, you know. Uh, they kind of like the hip hop couple at the moment, but they young and shit. You know, I used to do blogs about it because they were trending in the media and shit like that. Uh, one day, Lil Dirt kind of made it famous on the blog sites like College Kid and Rap Catch Up and shit like that because a video went viral of him like laying in the bed with like a lady and shit, like a woman. Uh, and a lot of people was like, dirt cheating on Dage Loaf and shit like that. That became a big story. I'm not sure if y'all remember this, but this was the big story. The lady who he was like in the bed with, her name was Ramina Kardashian. Uh, she was like some internet lady, an uh, internet woman and shit. But out of all the blog sites, she actually contacted me. You know, she told me she watched my videos on YouTube and she thought I was funny. So she contacted me. We did a phone interview. Uh, that phone interview is actually on an old YouTube channel that got took away from me a long time ago. But I interviewed her. I still got some of her screenshots, like the one right here uh, I put up right there. Uh, she used to leave comments and shit, like on my Instagram, you know. So she used to rock with me, like on some social media shit, you know what I'm saying? I never met her in person. She gave me an interview. Now, in the interview, I want to be honest. In the interview... She said some things about Lil Durk and Dage Loaf in the interview. Now, you know, when we did the interview, um, I put it out. This is the crazy part. The interview only did like maybe 26,000 views altogether. Okay. Uh, this at the time I was dropping phone interviews. You dropped the whole phone interview. It was like 14 minutes. It did like 20 some thousand views. Um, you know, the internet come on. Some of my fans see it. I guess people see it. It's it, 26,000 views at that time was a lot, you know. Oh, shit. Uh, on the internet. Can you believe just one day uh, some music? I'm going to say maybe a week, two weeks later. Uh, I go on Instagram. Now, at this time, Dage Loaf was popping. Uh, I go to her music. I wanted to listen to some of her music. You know, listen. I fuck it, I'm going to go to her Instagram. Check out, you know. I'm a street reporter, so I... Go to everybody's social medias and shit, you know, check out the page, be a nosy and shit, right? I go to Dage Loaf Instagram and I couldn't find it. I mean, I couldn't find it. I'm searching, I couldn't find it. I thought maybe that, she, you know, maybe she deactivated her account. Maybe she left the account or something like that. I go to it. <clears throat> I keep going. I, I, I just couldn't find it, you know. I Hold up, I use somebody else's phone and I go to it. And it's there. And I, damn, you know, this was the first time that I realized that everybody watches YouTube. You don't know who in the hell is watching your videos, you know. You don't know what the hell going on, you know. I had no idea that Dage Loaf watched my YouTube video and didn't like the fact that I interviewed that young lady who said things like she was with Dirk and shit at the time Days was together, and she blocked me. Dirk didn't block me. I guess Dirk understood that this is a blog site. You know, these interviewers did some shit trending on the internet, whether it's fake or real, so, but this is content. 
But she blocked me on Instagram, and the only thing I can come up with is maybe that interview that I did with Ramina Kardashian, you know. That was the moment I realized this power in them interviews, man, and that's crazy. I wanted to tell you guys that. But actually, the story not over with. You want to know what's crazy? Actually, a year later, Ramina Kardashian actually lost her life. That's crazy. I don't got the full story. Some people told me she might have was killed. But I don't believe that because I did read reports that it was like a drug overdose. You know, uh, something happened with her that maybe it was like drugs or something like that. But I'm not sure. I don't want to put any dirt on the name. But something happened to her later on in life. So R.I.P. to Ramina. She seemed like a pretty decent lady who just got caught in some internet shit. I don't know if she was clout chasing Dirk or whatever, but this is not a moment to speak bad on her. This is a moment to speak good on her. Uh, but I want to tell y'all another story, though. Check this out. A lot of people always say truth. Have you ever ran into somebody suspiciously or have you ever been out here on the streets and something just weird just happened? Um... Yeah, I want to tell y'all the story of one day I was just chilling. I had my son with me. I had my son with me. One of my kids was with me. I was going to a gas station, right? Driving in the gas station. And when I went in the gas station, I didn't right on point notice. You know, I'm going in the gas station. I got my son with me. I'm looking. I look at everybody. You know, cool. I get my stuff. And on my way out, I see a guy who's walking towards me. He truth tell him what up, truth. Uh, damn, what up, bro? Now, you got to understand, at the moment, I know so many rappers, I didn't exactly catch his face card at the moment. But that was the moment I walked uh, out of a gas station and ran into an OTF member who I did plenty of videos about. And uh, I want to tell you guys, I did not know that was him at that moment. And uh, I did a lot of videos about this guy. Bad videos, good videos. I actually went to a crime scene that involved this guy. And uh, I ran into him at a gas station. And I'm going to tell you how that turned out. Because it was kind of crazy. Because think about this. I did not know exactly who this guy was until the middle of the conversation. After giving him some dap. And this dap was strong as hell. Look, he dap me aggressive as hell. You know what I'm saying? Damn, he dap me aggressive. I'm going to tell you who that was. In my next video. But I need y'all to subscribe to my YouTube channel right now. Uh, a matter of fact, you give me give me a thousand likes on this video. And I'm going to drop that video next. I appreciate the support. It's the homie Truth Teller Street Reporter. But before I get out of here, I want to tell y'all though. Because I know y'all like, I don't know man. We do, Should we hit the like button? This is what I'm telling you. Look, I had no idea who this guy was. Until the middle of the conversation. And I want to be honest. I still kind of didn't know who he was. I knew who he was after he told me his name. But it didn't hit me until I went home and hit the Instagram bar. And see all the fucking DMs I DM'd him. And this is a guy who actually trended on the internet for a lot of shit. Close friend of Lil Dirk was involved in a fight. Uh, that people say with Wooski and all kind of shit. And I ran into this guy and didn't know who it was. This was one of my call lacking moments. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to tell you about that next. It's the only truth. Blah, blah, blah.